Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a very special video. So for those that don't know, I recently celebrated my one year anniversary of my Cushy account, which was last March 17. So I want to take you guys through kind of like my crochet journey and kind of the things I was able to accomplish in the one year that I had my Instagram account. So first off, to give you guys some background on how I even started to get into crochet, um, I actually discovered what crochet was through um, Faustine or Faust. Um, she's a very good crocheter in the crochet community. I love her work so much. And she was a big reason as to why I got into crochet and I was really curious about what crochet was and like how would you do this and stuff like that. So another reason was when I learned how to crochet that was in 2020 and we were all in the pandemic, I was doing online school and I was a senior in high school. And one of the things I had to do for one of my subjects was a business implementation, which is basically where we're grouped together in a class and we have to actually sell something online. Our business was called Twist and we don't post on there anymore, but then I think the Instagram account is still up. And there we sold like crochet kits, headbands, bandanas, and bucket hats. So I was the one making a lot of the pictures that you see on there, as well as making a few of the products whenever we would get orders. So this was actually where I started to really develop my love for crochet, as well as develop my love for like running a business. And after the three month selling period was over, I realized that I think I want to try to continue this on my own. So we stopped selling in December of 2020. And I set up my Instagram account right after, but I did not start posting on my Instagram account until March of 2021. So there was a couple of months where I really didn't post anything. I didn't have a username for a while and I just wasn't really active on it because what I was doing from December to March was that I was really just trying to kind of um, perfect my craft and like master all the stitches, learn how to make all sorts of stuff. So I was a pretty slow crocheter back then, you know, my stitches weren't the neatest and I really wanted to learn how to make all sorts of stuff before I started posting on my crochet account. And as you can see, I was able to post all sorts of tops throughout the summer. I had a lot of stuff that I was able to make. A lot of it were very, you know, experimental tops. I didn't really know what I was doing with it, but I was just really having fun creating all sorts of stuff. But now I want to take you guys through my accomplishments. So um, one of the things that I'm very proud of is that I was able to kind of start posting on all sorts of different social media accounts. So for me, I'm a Gen Z. I'm 18 years old. I love social media. I love TikTok. And in May of 2021, this is when I started posting on my TikTok account. And I was actually very proud of my TikTok account because the very first TikTok I made was this um, top inspired by Jungwon from an Hypen sweater vest. So I was really proud of that and it got um, good views and good engagement. So I was really proud of like that TikTok and I discovered how much I love being able to film, being able to edit TikToks and I just really had a lot of fun with it. So apart from TikTok, I was also able to start um, my all my other social media accounts. So I have Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and TikTok. Another achievement that I had was that I was able to pattern test for the very first time. So um, patterns were very um, scary for me at first because I always felt like I was gonna make a mistake. I didn't really understand it. When I got the test for Austin's Eileen Rollet, that's the first time that I really like sat down, read a pattern, understood it, and made something out of it. So, and this is also a great way to be able to meet other people in your crochet community. And I had a lot of fun testing for her. I learned so much about like written patterns in general. So I definitely recommend testing patterns. I've only tested one, but that's kind of my goal for the next year. I want to be able to test more patterns. So another goal that I had was to make a pattern of my own. So my first ever pattern, it's the Mali bag. I was honestly so proud of this and I wanted to to start to make a pattern for something that wasn't a top because I feel like I still have a lot to learn with making patterns for tops. So I tried it out with my Mali bag first and I absolutely love how it turned out. I was so happy with how my pattern turned out and I'm so grateful for my testers as well and that was definitely an accomplishment that I had um, being able to do that in the first year of me having my crochet account. So another achievement that I am very proud of was that I was able to make a logo. So if you've been with me and if you followed my account since like early 2021, I really did not have a logo. Um, I was using a plain colored background for my profile picture. But in September of 2021, I was able to ask one of my friends, her name's Chili. 
Um, you can check out her Instagram account. Commissioned her to make my logo and I'm honestly so happy with how it turned out. Um, I love how simple it is. I love how it kind of recognizable and it goes along with like BRB, it's a lingo thing, so it's in a speech bubble. I don't know, I found that really cool and something that I was able to really connect with the name of my crochet account. Something I really followed throughout my crochet journey was that consistency is key. I always value like being able to have a scheduled time to post, making sure that I'm able to post X amount a month, um, given that I'm not super busy with school because I am a student first. But I'm really happy that with my YouTube account and my TikTok, I'm able to post weekly and I'm able to really be consistent with the things I make, managing my time, balancing it with school and my personal life. So that's also an achievement I personally have because I do value um, my crochet account so much, but then I also value that I'm able to balance it with other things. So that's definitely an achievement and it took me a while to learn that. So I want to end this video by sharing with you guys some of my tips and experiences and advice in, you know, having your own crochet account. And I hope that this helps at least one person kind of, you know, navigate their way through the crochet community to their own personal crochet journey. First tip I have is that don't be pressured by the other crocheters around you. So honestly, the crochet community it's such a good community. You're able to meet so many good people. And something that I learned early on was that don't look at the community as competition. Because I think that's a really hard way or a hard mindset to have when you're trying to like enter the crochet community or you're trying to um, learn more about crochet. Because if you look at everyone as competition, you don't really end up wanting to learn from them. And that's something that I felt kind of pressured with. Like everyone was posting, everyone had so many patterns, everyone was, you know, so active and they got so much stuff done. And I think it's important to remember that, especially if you're a student or even if you're working, like, um, it's definitely important to put your education first. It's definitely important to remember that you have other priorities so your whole life shouldn't revolve around, you know, stressing out about crochet or like being pressured by the journey of other people. It's gonna be really hard to kind of go through your crochet journey worrying about someone else and, you know, stressing and pressuring yourself because of the work of other people. So the last tip I want to give you guys is that don't burn yourselves out. So. In crochet, it's very easy to burn yourself out if you're constantly accepting commissions or you're constantly taking on projects that you know you don't have enough time for or if you are pressuring yourself to kind of get stuff done on your schedule but you're not getting it done or something's not working out the way you expected it or wanted it to. I think it's very important to remember that with everything you make in crochet, it's a learning lesson. So don't stress yourself out too much with it remember that crochet is supposed to be fun because it's really easy to get burned out in crochet it's really easy sometimes to lose track of that passion that you have for it so it's always okay to take a break it's always okay to kind of just step away from the hook and the yarn and you know do something else that may relax you if you're getting stressed with crochet never push yourself past your limit because that can really affect how you look at crochet and like your love for crochet can change if you constantly push yourself to you know do things and accept projects that you're not mentally ready for and i think i experienced that really early on when i was balancing college with crochet i found it really hard i was so uninspired i had so many slumps it's okay to take a break it's okay to step away from crochet every once in a while it's not like you're gonna get left behind or it's not like it's gonna be the end of the world so you always remember that take a break when it's getting stressful rest every once in a while don't pressure yourself out too much because you're really only going to end up hurting yourself in the long run. So that ends my little tips and tricks, my journey, my um, story time with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like if you haven't yet and subscribe down below. And check out my other social media accounts as well. If you have any questions about my personal crochet journey or crochet in general, I try to answer as much of them as I can. But if I'm not able to, I'm so sorry. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!